All right, hey everybody, my name is Mr. Haig. Thank you all for coming in today. And uh, I definitely appreciate you taking uh, an interest in what I have to show you here. And if there's any question uh, you have while I'm talking, that's fine. I definitely certainly welcome you to uh, ask away whatever um, you have. So I kind of want, I like my talks to be more uh, collaboration, more so than you know just me speaking to you. Okay, so if you have anything you want to share with me, uh, please feel free to raise your hand as best as you can, okay, and uh, ask away. No question is too foolish for me. I say the same thing to my students, okay. Nothing is, uh, uh, is uh, a wrong question to ask. Okay? I, I might give you the wrong answer, but at least I'm going to give you an answer, okay. I will never look down upon a, a, a question. All right, so my name is Mr. Haig, and I teach over at Azusa High School. And with that being said, uh, I'm very proud of what uh, we were able to accomplish with the Digital Media Arts Academy. It's really grown. It's a very large academy, probably the largest. I'm not sure what the numbers is, but I have about 170 students, if that can give you an indication. Um, I teach six periods. I teach intro to graphics, I which deals with print media, and I teach advanced graphic, which deals with video production, and I also teach a, a course uh, affiliated with Citrus College it's a Citrus College course. Um, it's called, well, it's web design, I guess. Uh, they call it Infotech, but it's really, like I said, web design. All right, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so I got a little joke, because a presenter at, started off with a joke. When is a door not a door? Anybody can guess? When it's a jar. <laughs> okay, when, okay, I'll be right back. All right. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I, yeah, it made me smile too. Okay, so the next one is, okay, so the, the crux of what we're going to talk about today is called work-based learning, okay? And that's really my whole motive of teaching and my whole essence of the lesson plans that I make. Everything that I do, okay, is about work-based learning. So uh, work-based learning is represented by this circle over here. Okay. You can see that the most important thing that I try to do, especially in my advanced and college class, is uh, it's called work-based learning, or I'm sorry, job shadowing. Okay, so in other words, I try to mimic a real-life working scenario. Okay, in other words, I more or less treat my students like workers, employees, as opposed to students. Now, of course, I know that they're students, but work-based learning kind of, um, you know, I get on their cases if, they, if deadlines aren't being met, I get on the cases if things aren't done right, okay? Just like you and I would. Okay, we, get, we would get, uh, so we would definitely, uh, sorry, I'm looking out there. Uh, we would definitely uh, be reprimanded if we didn't do our jobs right, okay? That's just the real world. So I try to do the same thing there. Other things is service learning, okay? So I ask uh, other teachers from my school to go ahead and um, offer services. Uh, if they, I mean, not, not services, we offer them services. So. Um, you know, creating posters, creating brochures, creating business cards, uh, making short videos. Okay, we work with ASB a lot. Uh, we work with a sports team a lot. We broadcast football games. So it's a lot of stuff that we do. It's basically, as one of my students, it's like going to work. Good, that's exactly what I want them to do. And of course, we have externships, entrepreneurships. Well, that's a different, I, I try to encourage my students into entrepreneurship. Okay, of course, it takes a special type of person, but again, I was an entrepreneur, one of the best things I've ever done. Okay. And then there's internships, which is usually focused on our juniors and seniors. And so, um, with that being said, uh, let's go on to the, this case right here. Of course, uh, no one here, I can tell I'm the oldest guy in the room. Okay. So, you know, radio, TV, newspaper, do you think any of your students read the newspaper? I'll be surprised if any of your students even saw a newspaper. Okay, nobody does. Um, I don't even think they watch TV anymore. Uh, very, very rare. I mean, I think they're all on their little phones here, which is kind of annoying, but whatever the case may be. But now, if you look at this circle here, we've got TV, radio. Hi. Hi. I'm just checking the ACs, making sure that they're still running. Okay. They're running good. Thank you. Okay. And so what we're doing here, of course, is more websites, social media, okay, email, okay, not so much email anymore, but we do a lot of text messaging, blogging, mobile apps, 
Okay, so that's the world that they live in, and that's the world that most of you, seeing your age, live in too, in a way, but I think you're also familiar with the world that I came in from the 80s, all right, where basically we were still in this mode here, okay? But um, as any responsible adult, especially teaching, we try to adjust in the, in, to the new world that we're living in. All right, so most important soft skills you can teach your kids, okay, is this right here. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. If I can. Okay, let me do it. There we go. Okay, well, I'll just read it to you. Sorry, I can't seem to control this thing a little bit. Okay, so the most important uh, soft skills are management, communication, customer service, leadership, sales, project management, you know, teamwork, marketing, really important. The other thing is, of course, hard skills. Now, notice they're all computer related. It's software development, artificial intelligence, finance, transfer, translation, Java, mobile app, robotics, video and audio production, that's where I come in. Operations, animation, customer relations, graphics, digital marketing. So I'm teaching the right thing, okay? And so are many of you. Now if you teach math and science, you're still teaching the right thing, except that right now with AI, um, something to think about, okay, AI, that is, uh, Oh boy, that's a whole new world, aren't we? Okay, so let's go on to the next uh, thing if we can. Uh, I can't seem to, there we go. Okay, so with, with society changing, with society changing, education must also change. Okay, here's a picture of the 1950s classroom, the wooden desk, kids reading, they're quiet. That's a, this is the dream class, isn't it? And then of the 80s, okay, not much different, but I'm noticing there's two to a desk. I would like this better, where I have my own little desk. That'd be so cool. And then, of course, I remember this year 2000, okay, where we had those big old IMAX, the Commodores. I don't think they're Commodores, but that's where the Max really came in important. This is my classroom here today. We got flat panels, IMAX, we got two big screens. Okay, I'm very proud of it, and I encourage you to come visit if you like. All right, work-based learning. Work-based learning is this, okay? You give a student a first-hand industry insight. Why? Because they get a better understanding of career paths. Most students are not aware of career paths, okay? Uh, hear about the pros and cons of an industry, I think that's really important. Every, I hear that a lot of my female students want to go into becoming a pediatrician, okay? And so with that, okay, I say that's great because they love babies. Well, what if you have to handle a stillborn? What if you have to handle a um, baby that's not going to make it? You know, how do you handle that? Okay, it's uh, it's it's tough. Okay, so hopefully I didn't open any wounds here for anybody, but I'm just saying that that you know we have a responsibility to teach the pros and the cons of an industry. So the sooner we teach them that, the more mentally prepared they are. All right, next thing is so we're exploring the skills of education needed to be competitive. Okay, uh, but let's go on to this thing. Work-based learning includes guest speakers. Okay, so I see some of you are elementary teachers, right? Yes? Okay, so if you're teaching elementary school, work uh, guest speakers are great. Bring in a doctor, bring in a police officer, bring in a chef. Have them talk about their careers, okay? The rest of you high schoolers, uh, high school teachers, you know, uh, job shadowing, internships, work experience, career fairs, okay? Uh, apprenticeships and uh, externships okay my my biggest job shadowing starts within the uh, confines of my own campus okay so a lot of teachers will ask us to do work for them and we do it all right so these are the three things I teach web design video audio and graphics I only teach industry standard stuff okay I don't use Canva uh, sorry Canva people I don't use that I teach Photoshop, okay, for graphic design, for audio production. I don't use GarageBand, okay, even though that's pretty cool stuff. I like to learn it, but you have to have some sort of musical background for that. But I teach audition, okay, because we podcast a lot. And then, of course, there's video and there's web design. We use, again, the Adobe Creative Suite, okay, Dreamweaver for web design. And uh, for video, we use uh, Adobe Premiere for the most part, okay? Now, the thing about work-based learning is, okay, all these things that I teach, Okay? If I don't add work-based learning, I just basically teach the base model educational lesson plan. Okay? It's like a base model car. There's nothing there. Okay? 
Uh, it's like a cake without the, the frosting and the, the nice little decorations. Because they can learn that anywhere. They can go online and learn it. Why do they need me? But when I add work-based learning scenario, now I'm giving them that cake with the nice chocolate ice cream uh, frosting and the nice, well, you know, I'm not a baker, so I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm just saying, I'm giving them the, the Tesla that they're looking for. Oh, you don't like Elon Musk? Okay, well, hey, I understand. Okay. All right, so anyways, um, here is my classroom. And again, I encourage you guys to come visit if you like. So this is my classroom. I got two big screen monitors. I got IMAX. This green room here is for virtual reality and photography. And then we've got a sound booth, which is for podcasting. And then here's our new film room. Really cool stuff. But the most important thing is that it mimics an actual real world scenario. All right, and here are my students engaged in that. So as you can see, we got drones. We got, again, the VR. Then we got students who are hosting the show, and then we got our podcasters. Very engaged, very active program. All right, so here's a step-by-step. -step. So if you're going to teach work-based work, work uh, WBLs, okay, work-based lessons, okay, um, I strongly advise you to teach them how to start a business. Now, I know I'm talking entrepreneurship, but that's okay, because that's going to get these kids in the door, okay? Pretty much everybody starts up as an entrepreneur and don't even know it, okay? Uh, maybe some of you guys offer lawn mowing services. Maybe you can offer um, picking up the trash, <laughs> you know, be the neighborhood, you know, the good kid in the neighborhood. They don't exist anymore? Okay, well, <laughs> uh, as the father of an 11-year-old, you're absolutely right. So anyways, but... You, can, you teach them, include this in your lesson plan on how to start a business. You know, you got a business idea? Okay, do the research, create a business plan. Secure capital, okay, that's a whole different world. Build your team, register, be the boss, have fun. So please download this PDF, okay, it's available uh, to you. Please read it, and of course, if you have any questions, but this is the business plan, okay? Now, for those, how many here have their own business? Oh, what you did? Ooh, we're competitors, graphics, nice, okay. <laughs> All right, so you probably know about the, the uh, Small Business Association and uh, administration and the uh, Secretary of State's website, and then of course the, well, there's the small business, but you know about DBAs, right? Okay, so uh, you know, you wanna teach your students about that. Okay, get them started, get them thinking. Have them create their own team of uh, business people right there in the classroom. Have them form a corporation, download, uh, download the forms, okay? Don't turn it in, okay? Don't turn anything into the Secretary of State, otherwise they'll get a bill for $800 at the end of the year and they may not like you. Okay, so don't do that. But anyways, let's go to the next one. And even if they're not going to the entrepreneurial route, teach them uh, resume writing and also teach them uh, interview, okay? They should do well, they gossip all the time, don't they? They should do pretty good, okay. All right, so now, um, collaboration, okay? Uh, you guys can read this here. Um, Stuff that uh, that your students can help, like in my case, uh, you know, I can do um, video for board meetings, announcements. Um, I can do graphics for events and, and brochures and, and our teams. Uh, but here's collaboration, okay? Here's where I think, instead of giving out assignments that require paper, okay, like these reports, have them podcast, have them do video. Okay, so a lot of times uh, a teacher will come up to me, a history teacher will come up to me, They're, they want to do something about the Civil War, okay, Ulysses S. Grant, okay, and their, t their students would write about it, they would come in and they would podcast about it, and then we would turn edit it. Or if they do a video, we would still edit. So they get their grade, we get our grade. It's actually one project. Okay, <clears throat> okay. another thing is CTSOs, okay, really important. I know that uh, if you click here, you'll go to a web page um, about CTSOs, and let's go there if we can open up in a Safari. Okay, so I talk a lot about the different CTSOs. Um, there's Skills USA, there's FBLA, there's um, there's all this stuff here. So I'm I'm mostly interested in Skills USA. That's the one that I focus on. So at any rate. Here we go. Okay, let's go back. So uh, CTSOs, uh, again, it's basically a statewide competition. Uh, 
you want to, you know, that's a great way to learn about uh, the future of the uh, job market, okay? And um, we are very, very happy to be part of that. So, okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, the podcasting. So now I'm going to finish up my talk by talking about what I do and what the end result, my ultimate goal is. Okay, so with podcasting, my goal is advertise. So actually, let me show you this little video here if I could. Let's see if I can open this. I just want to show you a little video here. So there's our whisper room. Okay, so let me go here. This was done a while back ago. Hey guys. These are former students of mine. So this is the podcasting microphone where you can adjust this part of your life. This is where you transfer your audio to your computer to where you can upload to your files and edit later on. This is behind us. You have a green screen and over here our lighting. And then this right here is basically the phone and it keeps the noise from leaving this room. And yeah. So what do we do in the whisper room? They can do pretty much anything on a monthly basis. Okay, anything to do with the student voice. And if you all probably know just as much as I do, Students, uh, they like to express their voices quite a bit. So you think you know what? Oops, sorry. Really? All right. First. Forgot about that little YouTube thing that goes on to the next video. Anyway, so they podcast about the news. They can talk about themselves. Um, but our ultimate goal is creating a school radio, okay, an internet radio. That's what I want to go. Okay. So work-based learning will get us there. Now my ultimate goal for video production. In work-based learning, you can do commercials for the school district, for the school and the district. You can do video products for the local community. You can do video products for nonprofits and charity. Of course, you can do internships, okay? We play students at CBS Studios. I play students at the Burbank International Film Festival. Our ultimate goal is public access television, okay? Get our program products out there to public access. Okay, drone program, okay? Yikes, what are we getting ourselves into, right? Um, drones are expensive and they crash, but it's very important that they kind of get exposed to this, okay? Um, for work-based learning, you can get internships with a local fire and police. You can get internships with the real estate and, ac and architecture. They hire students left and right. So this would be good to teach them this. My ultimate goal is to get them uh, drone certification, okay, so they can get work. Okay, uh, graphics and web design, it's everywhere. Okay, you can get a job anywhere, okay, or internships anywhere with that kind of skill sets. And so, uh, you know, you can work with city government, school districts, you can job shadow, of course, social media, things of that nature. You can do um, entrepreneurship, and that's where you really should encourage because the ultimate goal of that is self-sufficiency. Okay, they, they create their own world. All right. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, here's my information. Okay, my phone number and uh, my email. I welcome you to collaborate with me and ask anything. Does anybody have any questions? Okay. Oh, uh, the internship program is actually handled by a, uh, another person. Her name is Amy, Amy Fole. Um, she basically handled all the internship. I make sure everything goes through her. Uh, I don't just say, okay, you know, Joe, you're gonna go work over at uh, Burbank right now. And, uh, no, no, I don't want to have responsibility. It's got to go through somebody who checks out the, the place and make sure that it's safe for the students to go to. Do I send students out to work um, during school? No, I don't. Um, but I know teachers who have done that. You know, they would work, uh, students would work part of the day and they would go somewhere else um, to finish off the day. So, but that has to be, that has a lot of approval process, so. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, well, my email's right there, okay, jhagatazuza, so feel free to contact me, okay. Um, I'll, yeah, um, do, yeah, you can come by anytime you like, uh, anytime you want, okay. All right, I gotta, okay, so I'm gonna stop video recording and then, because uh, I, I want to be able to walk up to you, okay. All right, so.